Hi, I'm Jan with Jan's Drawer Supplies. Welcome to Soldering Made Easy, video four. With this video, we will be making a stacked pendant. As you can see, this pendant has a domed portion here, and it is stacked on top of a star-shaped piece. On the back, you'll see the star shape is attached to a large ring, and the rings are attached to jump rings that attach to the domed portion. To make this stack pendant, you will need the following supplies. You will need five 18 by 13 pear-shaped rhinestones with settings. You will need five 10 millimeter rivolis with settings. You will need one 10 millimeter Siam Rivoli with setting. And you will need 15 15 by 7 Nevet rhinestones with settings. You will need five 8 millimeter jump rings. The ones I'm using are 16 gauge and you will need one 31 millimeter ring. Um, this can be a bent piece of brass, it can be a large jump ring, a large link from a chain. For this project you will need to use either a J board or wet floral foam. I'll be using the wet floral foam as you can see I've used it before. It's starting to get a little toasty and I will be using play-doh along with the floral board and this needs to be wet floral board. And I have taking, taken a dapping tool and rounded this out for my curved portion of the brooch. I'm going to go ahead and roll out some Play-Doh to lay down in the si inside of this. I want to roll my Play-Doh out nice and smooth, get a fairly thin layer to lay inside the floorboard or floral foam. I'm just going to lay it on top of the floral foam, push it down inside, tap it, make it flat on the top, then I'm going to start laying my rhinestones out. My first one is going to be my round Siam. It's going to be at the bottom in the center. And then I'm going to lay out the pairs I finished laying out my rhinestones you want to make sure they're all even and that they're flat up against the play-doh the strength from this piece is going to come more from these sides here because your pairs are not going to be soldered together. As you can see, there's a gap in between each pair. So soldering these pieces to the pairs securely is going to be very important. That and also soldering the pairs to that center stone. I'm going to go ahead and start soldering this piece. With this, I am going to be using the low temperature, the 300 degree, with a torch. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to heat the metal, dab it, heat the metal, remove the heat, the metal, dab. Heat. Dab. Oh, 
doesn't take much solder. You see that I have soldered between every gap. I'm going to set this piece aside and I'm going to start with the lower layer. I'm going to go ahead and set the ring in first. And then I'm going to start setting my nivets face down into the Play-Doh. And when I'm setting my stones in the Play-Doh, I just kind of barely set them there until I'm happy with the way they look. And then I push them down just a little bit. You don't want to push them in too far. If you push them in too far, then it makes it hard for the, the, uh, the torch to heat up the metal. I have all of my set stones laid out the way that I want them. Just need to make sure that they are all level. None of them are turned. And when I solder, I am going to be soldering not only these little clusters together, but I'm going to solder each cluster to this ring as well. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the soldering. Turn on my torch. I'm going to heat the metal. Dab it, dab it, and now I'm going to try and bridge a bridge from the ring to the little cluster of stones. The settings are very easy to solder, but this ring wants to be a little more difficult. requiring more solder and a lot more heat to heat up this ring. I finished soldering the navets to this ring. You can see they are all attached to the ring. I'm going to remove this from the clay and take it and clean it. Normally, I wouldn't clean a piece before I'm finished soldering. However, with this particular piece, it's going to be stacked underneath the dome piece. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it. I'm going to try and use as little water as possible so it doesn't cool it down too terribly much and make it more difficult to solder. I have my bottom piece ready to go, but before I do so, I want to check and make sure that it's sturdy, that there's enough solder holding these little clusters of rhinestones to the ring. It seems to be pretty stable. All right, there's a couple other things I'm going to have to do before I can continue to solder my two pieces together. One, I need to raise this up enough to meet the bottom portion. So I'm just going to lift this out and I'm going to just take, I don't know, about an eighth inch, less than a quarter of inch of Play-Doh to raise this up a little bit. So it is now raised up. Since I'm going to be laying this bottom piece on top of here and there is a little bit of space in between the dough and the stones, I need to brace those stones so that they don't come unsoldered 
whenever I start heating this up. So I'm just going to take a little bit of dough and put it around each one of these pairs, which is where the novettes are going to be sitting. done is use two different temperatures of solder or use a different temperature whenever I solder them, solder them together but I like this method better. So I am going to set there's kind of a groove here in between each one of the rounds. I'm just going to set the nuvettes on top of the pairs. I'm going to push it down to get this ring as close to the pairs as I can. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get it. I'm going to try to go ahead and solder this without adding the jump rings to connect. The ring is now soldered to the back of the dapped piece. As you can see, it's attached at each one of the pairs. I'm going to go ahead and add a jump ring to it using the third hand. Just come up. Let's turn on the torch. Heat the metal. Dab it with solder, and it's soldered. The piece is cooled enough, I'm going to remove it from the clay down. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. I'm going to have to go rinse it off. piece is all cleaned up and ready to go. Thank you for watching video 4, soldering video. Look for more of our videos on other soldering techniques. Thank you.